students in this video we are going to discuss on the deviation produced in a prism so deviation means it is the changing the direction of the incident light when a light is passes through the prism so this prism has two refracting surfaces let us consider the light is incident on the first refracting surface as a result the speed of the light is decreases in the glass medium so due to that reason the light bends towards the normal so when the light is emerges from the second surface so because the speed of the light is increases as a result the light bends away from the normal so this the angle between the incident ray direction and the emergent ray so this angle is known as an angle of deviation so this angle of deviation that depends upon the geometry of the prism say it is the angle between the two refracting surfaces as well as the refractive index of the prism and the third factor is the angle of incidence so this this deviation in a prism that also causes the dispersion of the light means it is a phenomenon of splitting of the white light into its constant color so this phenomenon in this case the the color which having the least wavelength say for violet color the bending is most and the color which having the most wavelength and the maximum wavelength color ge, so bending namu kadime agutte say red color ge namu bending kadime agutte violet color ge now bending angle say deviation angle is the most here okay. Okay, now here we will calculate the refractive index of the prism in terms of angle of minimum deviation and angle of prism. Andre, now when the prism na refractive index sannu, now find out what they do. Andre, angle of prism jothege, angle of minimum deviation, nu, you more relations sannu, calculate martha. So most important derivation, let us start with the, the diagram. Okay, in the diagram, let us consider a principal axis of the prism. Say, I'll draw in. So this is the axis of the prism, say A and it is a B and it is a C. So this is called as a base of the prism. So for this AB refracting surface, a light is incident. So this is the direction of the incident light. So at the point of incident, I will draw the normal. E incident point nalli on the normal no then the light get refracted so this refracted light i will take almost parallel to the base idu nanu parallel to the base antu hota idini then after that the light emerges with some angle so this emer this is the direction of the emergent light so now at the point of this second refractive surface again i will draw say what here the normal so now the point of incident is say I will call it is a Q and it is N and it is the R. So here PQ is called the incident ray with an angle of incidence is I. And here the angle which refracted is known as a first refracting angle say R1 and it is an incident angle for the second surface say it is in second R2 and this is called as an what here? the angle of emergent so i will draw the direction of the incident light so this is the direction of the incident light here this incident light makes an angle with respect to this emergent light so this angle is known as an angle of deviation so this is the angle of deviation so now let us see the description part so consider so here you consider A, B, C is the principal section of the prism. So this principal section of prism. The next PQ is known as an incident ray. This is the incident ray. And next so this rs this rs is called as an emergent ray so this emergent ray and this a is called angle of prism so this is the angle between the two ref refracting surfaces angle of prism and to prove mathematically let us consider from this diagram so a q n r is known as an quadrilateral in a quadrilateral the sum of the two opposite angles are supplementary angles means sum of angle a plus q n r is 180 degree so let us i will write here so in a quadrilateral so quadrilateral 
which one quadrilateral a q n r so from this quadrilateral angle a plus this angle q n r this is is known as a supplementary angle say this angles are equal to 180 degree you may call it is equation number 1 and from the triangle q n r the sum of the all three angles in the triangles is 180 degree say i will write from triangle again from triangle so q n r so this q n r angle r1 plus r2 plus this angle q n r say angle q n r which is equal to 180 degree so we call it is equation number 2 now from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 so it is clear that a plus q n r is 180 degree and here r1 plus r2 plus q n r is 180 degree therefore this a value takes a equal to r1 plus r2 here we proved that this is calling equation 3 the angle of prism is the sum of two refracting angle next i will find out the total deviation produced by this prism and the e prism nalli total deviation est agutte so that is nothing but deviation produced in the first surface plus deviation produced in the second surface so therefore i want to find out the total deviation so total deviation here and indicate made us say that is delta equal to so what is the deviation in the first first side this is nothing but i minus of r1 plus deviation produced in the second surface is say it is e minus of r2 now we will make the group of this one say deviation equal to it is i plus e i will make this is one group and taking the minus common it is minus and r1 plus r2 so call it is equation number 4 this is known as an total deviation produced in a prism so from the equation number 3 and 4 i will substitute r1 plus r2 is equal to a so deviation equal to i plus e minus a this you call equation number 5 now here it is known that this angle of deviation that depends upon the angle of incidence so now we can see that as the angle of incidence is increases angle of deviation is start to decreases and reaches to the minimum value that position is known as an angle of minimum deviation after that if increase the angle of incidence the deviation angle gets goes on increases as you can see from this graph a graph nalli navu adanna nodabodu so at angle of minimum deviation at angle of angle of minimum deviation so angle of minimum deviation ye yeah. so this deviation is written as an dm that is called as a minimum deviation in that case this ray become parallel to the base axis andre ee base ge ee ray refracted ray exact agi parallel agutte therefore we can write r1 is equal to r2 and the important point is so this i becomes e means angle of incident becomes angle of emergent so this is the condition is valid for minimum deviation it is the most important step so now by using this one we can find out the angle of incidence and angle of the refraction ee ee idea in the incident angle matto refracted angle estu nan calculate maadi now snail snail alli substitute maadre namage answer barutte okay now here r1 and r2 are equal this i will call as an say angle r now from the equation number say 3 i will write from equation number 3 say a equal to r1 plus r2 this implies a equal to i will write r1 is also r plus r this implies this is the 2r is equal to a and this implies r is equal to a by we got that the angle of refraction is half of the the refracting angle of the prism then you can use from this fifth equation say equation from fifth so from this fifth we can write so this de deviation angle is known as an minimum deviation angle equal to i plus e say i will write i and is emergent angle is also equal to i angle and minus angle a therefore i will bring minus a this side it is a plus minimum deviation angle equal to 2i this implies i will cross multiply 2 to, to this side so this incident angle becomes a plus minimum deviation by 2 so this is the angle of incident now you can use the snell's law of refraction using 
स्नेल्स लॉ ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन स्नेल्स लॉ ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन सो नाउ आई विल राइट द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस प्रिजम से n2 and the refractive index of the surrounding medium is in n1 ee nanu refractive index of the prism annu nanu n2 antu othini so i will write refractive index of prism with respect to the surrounding medium n21 can also be written as n2 by n1 and kuda very good so this is equal to the sine of angle of incidence to sine of angle of refraction ratio and the sin i by sin r ge equal agirutte can substitute the values of incident angle and refracted angle from this above two values so i will write n21 is equal to the sine of what it is the angle of incident is a plus dm by 2 and divided by the sine of angle of refraction is it is a by 2 this is the most important derivation which connects the refractive index of the medium and the angle of prism and the angle of the minimum deviation the derivation and the ideas are most important and useful for even competitive exams and this is a important for the theory exam also you practice well and you will get an idea how to calculate the angle of in incidence and the angle of refraction for the minimum angle of deviation so thank you